Yo, what is up guys? It's the Pure Experience here, bringing you another best class setup video on Call of Duty Ghost. This video is going to be featuring the Remington R5 Assault Rifle. And before we get on with the video, as normal, the video or the gameplay in the background will be this class setup. Just to show you how it performs and how well it can be if you're doing good. As well as, as normal, I will be showing you the class setup as a whole. And slowly breaking it down to you, showing you the best parts of the class setup and my performance. So going down, so we are using the Remington R5 assault rifle, known as probably the most popular assault rifle out of the bunch. It is the most accurate and the most powerful assault rifle, so it kind of does it all for you, this weapon, and it is very manageable. So going down to the attachments, so the attachments I use, or the attachments a lot of people use, are red dot sight and foregrip. Uh, red dot sight is gonna help in them long range shots. Uh, when you you know just them long range shots in general, you're gonna have more accu better accuracy, which will then help you. Along with foregrip, foregrip is gonna help. Obviously, it stops that vertical recoil. But this gun has very very good iron sights and very good recoil, as it doesn't recoil as bad. It's very manageable. So you don't really need foregrip, but I would use foregrip for those longer shots. As these two attachments do complement each of it on the long distance shooting as it is an assault rifle so long distance shooting is going to be needed and this weapon is very very useful for those objective gamers like domination if you've got someone good with an assault rifle you're going to lock down that map pinpointing them from distance up close and you're going to get an easy win but going down to the secondary tactical or secondary lethal and tactical so in my case, I use no secondary because they just suck. I don't like them. Uh, lethals, I'm not using anything just because I'm using a tactical and I want to save as many points as I can for my packs. Using a tactical just because uh, it, I, I like to be, I like to do tactical plays. So I could chuck it into a room if it gets someone follow the tactical or follow the concussion in, and then um, pick up the kill. So it's a win-win situation for me if I'm one point. So going down to the perks, the perks, we're going to go from top to bottom. I use a very simple and basic perk combination. A lot of people do use this, but this gun works pretty well with these and they all complement each other pretty well. So I'm using ready up, agility, quick draw, dead silence and focus. Ready up helps a lot. So when I'm sprinting, I can pick my gun f up quicker so I don't get shot off the sprint as a lot of people do. I know I for one used to. Agility, obviously, just to get this... Um, faster movement speed just because it is an assault rifle it is going to be pretty slow going down to a uh, quick draw quick draw is going to help in those gunfights quickly aim in and you know ping the people i want pick them off uh, so quick draw is probably a must have for me as well going down to dead silence not so much a must have but seeing as though the fixed dead silence so you are pretty much dead silent as the pack does say dead silent uh, but only people with amplify can actually hear you and as I'm playing on Xbox One, not many people actually use Amplify just because they haven't got headsets because they cannot be used. Going down to Focus. Focus is a must-have. I use this on every class and I'm pretty sure 9 out, of to 10, 9 out of the 10 players would use Focus because it helps you aim down your sights because you have uh, you have no sway down your, when you're aiming down sights and you have uh, less flinch when getting shot. So again, on those one-on-one -on -one gunfights, you're going to win. Hopefully. So going down to the specialist. The specialist is what, uh, or this the strike package in general. Uh, I'm using specialist because I use this weapon not only for pub matches but clan v clans and uh, game battles. Just because the remnant is the most powerful gun and I just prefer an AR. So going down to the strike package, I'm using specialist and I'm using hardland, ICU and sleight of hand. So hardland really does help in these situations just because. It requires one less kill to get all of my pecs, so I'll get my pecs quicker. As well as every two assists counts as a kill towards your streaks. So it's it's kind of beneficial as I do get a lot of assists now and again, but uh, you know, for them long range kills. But going down to ICU, uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, quite a newbie, as obviously you regenerate health faster. People don't like it when that happens, but. If you just come out of a gunfight, you're going to want to be back into another one as soon as possible if you like to be in the enemy's face like me, and ICU will help you. 
So it's like advanced. So when you're up in the enemy's face, like I just said, you're going to want to reload as fast as possible so you do not get picked and you can just pick up. Uh, pick as many enemies as you can to pick up the win. So Slight Evanders fit pretty, pretty well in that category. But going down to my 11, um, or my bonus specialist, which is 11 kills, I'm using Stalker, obviously, Assault Rifle in pubs. Uh, I can't aim down my sights and move without Stalker, uh, but with Stalker, I can move pretty quick and, you know, pretty... It's, it's going to work pretty well so I can strafe left and right and it makes me a harder target to hit when I'm in a gunfight. So also I'm using scavenger. I can resupply from dead enemies. It helps so much. When you're going on those long gun streaks and when I've just hit my living streak, hopefully I'll, I won't be out of ammo but more likely I'll be on low ammo. So scavenger always does help on that as well. So I'm using wire trap. Wire trap is my final one. So as you know I'm not using... Uh, off the grid and a lot of people use satcoms these days so if I use wire trap I can u utilize all active enemy and friendly satcoms on the field so it's a win-win situation for me as it does benefit the enemy with a satcom it also benefits me so I can actually see him on the map too so it's a win-win situation like I just said but anyway guys if you like this video or if you like this class setup please drop a like and a comment thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video